Hey, welcome everybody. This is Loud and Gaming, and we are about to start the Ludum Dare 51 or Ludum Dari, however you want to say it. I'm so excited. We got about eight minutes until they announce the theme. So I just thought I would quickly talk about uh, what I might be making. And this Ludum Dare event, I am working with my daughter, actually, two daughters. One daughter is going to practice doing or do sprite work. And then the other daughter might draw a picture for us. And she might uh, make a little melody with her flute. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Usually uh, I've done these by myself. I've done these with a, a brother of mine. Um, I usually do all the artwork myself. So I'm kind of excited to have... Uh, my daughters uh, participate with this. So, earlier this week, I was trying to think of some ideas for what I might want to make for this uh, jam. And at first idea I had was a kind of board game-ish like game. I thought it would be I thought it would be really good. The problem is I just know no theme will ever fit. Uh, this board game, although this board game would be like perfect for uh, a Ludum Dare jam. So now the they just had a, a new rule come out that you could uh, opt out of the theme uh, category for voting if you wanted to. But I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll I'll save that for the next Ludum Dare event, which I think is they they announced that they're going to have one in January, so now they're going to have three each year. So maybe in the next one, I will do maybe the, this board game uh, idea. But this one, we're going to uh, try with the theme. Now, we've already kind of talked about a game we want to make. And so I'm going to go over uh, that game now. Uh, let's see, why can't I? I think I need a different mouse. This one doesn't want to click very well. All right, so, so here's the idea. You are breeding uh, cute creatures. All right, so kind of uh, roundish kind of creatures, and you are breeding them. And these creatures are going to lay eggs. Um, yeah, they're going to lay eggs, and they'll do this maybe frequently. And then you are trying to uh, trying to make different types of creatures using um, these creatures. So, for example, if if one creature is is blue and the other creature is red and they're near each other then they might have a a baby I guess that might be purple or something so you're trying to mix and match these um, creatures so uh, now the player is just going to be a hand you're not walking around the area at all you're just a hand and you can like pick them up and grab them I was kind of thinking of like uh, the old uh, PC game called Black and White, where you are a god in the 3D world, and you're you know picking up the villagers and tossing them and all kinds of stuff. So I mean, not com complex like that. This is not going to be a 3D game. It's going to be a 2D game, but just where you can kind of interact with the creatures just a little bit, just picking them up probably, um, and then you can uh, drop the creatures in in a selling bin, and so you're going you're going to try to make money, and what's going to happen is. Uh, you use this money to build fences and floors, uh, also for probably feeding the creatures, you're going to need some money. And then the creatures are going to have like a different moods, and they can also, you know, die. They, they live and they die, and you have to feed them, and if you're not feeding them, they'll, they'll die. And they'll have moods, and based upon like the, the floor type that they're under, so it's kind of like creating a cage for these creatures, and you give them the correct uh, floor type. And that will kind of help their mood. And I think if they they got a their mood is going to be better, uh, maybe they sell for more. Um, we're going to use oh yeah, the, so the creatures need to be fed. Players will drop the food piles in, in like a, a a spot, and the creatures will move and eat. And you can do that all over the map. Um, and then you you can pan the map using the mouse. Uh. Now the goal, I'm kind of thinking about what's the goal of the game, and this is going to be kind of depending on what the theme is, which is going to be coming out pretty soon, what the theme might be. If the theme is, 
I don't know, corruption. Maybe your goal is to not get corrupted. Maybe you lose the game if all of them, all the creatures become corrupted. What we're going to try to do is take whatever the theme is and just kind of, you know, plug it in somehow. Uh, when we did the voting, I, we kind of picked the themes that we could probably work with uh, better than others. So, I mean, not not to say like our vote would really matters if there's, you know, over, you know, thousands of people voting for it. But, uh, yeah, so win condition could be, like, you got to collect all the creatures. Uh, we're going to have, like, different color creatures, and then some creatures will have, like, different features on them that make them kind of, like, uh, unique and special as, as far as how they look. Um, as far as, like, how they behave, I think they all kind of behave the same way. The only thing I can think of is maybe, like, the speed of the creature might be a little bit faster or slower. Or something like that. Um, so you might want to be trying to collect all the creatures. Or maybe the win con condition is that there are these contest awards. And you're trying to uh, do certain things to, you know, please the, the contest. Whatever that contest might be. Well, I am kind of all set up here. I already have uh, Unity uh, running. I got uh, my Microsoft Studio running. I got a uh, thing of peanuts. To snack on, I have a little drink, I have a notebook where I wrote down kind of what the order in which I'm going to be programming in. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm a little nervous, uh, we are not having the greatest weather right now in North Carolina, so yeah, we could lose power, you know, that, that's a possibility. Uh, my first Ludum Dare event ever was in 2020. All right, COVID just kind of kind of happened, and everything was shutting down. This was in April, and I think it was like the week of Ludum Dare. I was I was so excited. I was ready for this, and then a giant tree. I mean, this thing was huge. Fell on my house. I mean, <laughs> it fell. Yeah, it was my daughter. It was actually my daughter's birthday, and uh, it it fell on my house, tore the roof. Uh, completely tore the roof, ruined the siding. Um, it, fortunately, it didn't go through all the way. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. I did end up doing the the thing. So it's, it, my clock's showing six o'clock. My daughter's like, "Hey, flip over to here." So let's see. Let's see if we got anything now. Let's see if we got the theme. All right, maybe it says three minutes. Maybe this clock is slow. Oh wait, sorry. This feature is unavailable at this time. Okay. All right. All right. Um, Twenty seconds. All right, let's see. Now, now, now listen, listen here, Ian. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the same boat. Well, not really. I mean, we're, it's kind of a little scary right now, um, being in North Carolina. Um, so, yeah. All right, uh, what, what we got here? Do you see the theme? What is this? Oh, every 10 seconds is the theme. All right, yeah. Okay, we kind of wanted that one. Uh, we did, we did want that one, right? Kind of. So our, our, we already had like an idea of what the every 10 seconds would be. And basically the creatures will lay eggs every 10 seconds. I mean, it's not like the greatest thing, but we got it every 10 seconds. Okay. So this is, this is one we can work with every 10 seconds. We got, oh, my daughter's asked me a question. Let me, let me, let me listen. Oh, she was saying every 10 seconds they could die. Maybe. I think uh, every 10 seconds for the egg laying, right? Let's let's stick with that. All right. We got we got our game ready. We got our idea. This is like the kind of the first time. Well, I, in previous Ludum Dare events, I have uh, I had kind of ideas beforehand. All right. So I don't know how this recording is going to go. Um, I'm going to kind of record for an hour and then, then stop recording and, and break up break up the videos and there might be some time where uh, I'm tired and I don't want to talk so all right so what's the first thing we're going to do let me look at my list the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on creature movement so let's do that let's go to uh, create we're going to create a script here and we're going to call it character controller all right all right here we go here we go six o'clock I'll probably work until maybe 11 11 ish maybe close to then um, We'll see how much we can get done. All right. This mouse is not clicking very well. 
I don't know if I need to try to get a different mouse. Alrighty. Now you, I'm not going to record any of the uh, artwork stuff. That my daughter will do that on, on a different computer. All right, I will be saving often. That's for sure. All right, let me uh, delete this. All right, uh, let's just leave it. All right. So how are we going to move this creature? Um. We are going to need a uh, rigid body, so let's do a serialized field. Okay, so in Ludum, Ludum Dare events, things are going to be kind of, um, you know, messy. We're not going to do a whole lot of commenting for things I don't really need commenting. We're going to say RB is equal to RB uh, get component. Oh man, I'm nervous. I don't know why I got like I got like butterflies right now. It's probably why I'm not typing things correctly. Okay, so that's that. So how do we want to do this? Well, here what I want to do as well. I want to do a um an, a doesn't it need to be public public enum, and we're gonna call it uh, character states. All right, I kind of feel a little uncomfortable with uh. My pos my position at, at this desk and my arms. I feel like my arms are going to get tired. I think I need to clear it off my desk a little bit. But let me just kind of move a little little things here so I can get this a little bit better. All right, there we go. Now I can rest on these this a little bit. Okay, uh, character states. We're going to have an idle state. And a move state for now. Uh, we're probably going to have a, maybe a lay egg state. Probably going to have a death state. And let's just do that for now. Okay. Uh, let's do a private void uh, move. Let's do like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on now. Don't, don't do that to me. Do like that. All right. Um, how are we going to move it? So we need to do some kind of random um, movement system here. Uh, we can say rb dot velocity. Okay. Let's just. We don't really want that. Let's do get a serialized field. And we're going to call it uh, float speed. And we'll just set it to 0f for now. Or 10f. All right, save it because I hear the wind blowing. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, why, did, why didn't I think about this more? Because um, I don't want... You know, you got to be quick. You got to move. You got to move. Let's see. We could move it based on the velocity. Um... Yeah. I don't like that. Let's see. Let's can we just I might not even need a rigid body. We might be like to do transform dot translate. <laughs> do I already need to search up something? Vector two vector dot Transform dot move towards. Maybe it's called vector two dot move towards. Okay, we can do this. Uh, we're going to say direction. Don't don't all c complete this stuff. Oh my word, this I'm not liking this at all already. It just wants to direction comma don't do that ah this is going to be frustrating uh, how do i turn that feature off i'm going to have to figure that out later all right direction all right this is supposed to be the current um we could actually do uh what we can do is that's the float that's the max distance 
we can say uh, the current would be transform dot position and this is going to be new location new location which I don't have and I think maybe that's the problem um, so up here let's do a uh, vector 2 call it new location uh, we need to make this a public there we go and I do lower cases for this stuff I feel like I'll be spending more time trying to fix the auto corrects or the auto thing all right transform position to the new location comma um max distance delta i don't think we want to okay moves a point current towards target uh how do you all right vector two dot lerp let's do a lerp instead okay and we're going to do this this uh, mouse is not good either. Oh man, I'm already kind of not happy with the setup. I should have practiced a little bit more. My daughter took took the mouse for this one. And this this mouse is just I even got I went up in my attic to get a different mouse, but this one's just as bad. All right, and we're going to do it by the speed times time dot delta time. All right. So, um, we're going to do a float, and we'll call it distance to target. All right, so if, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Come on, quit. Quit doing that stuff. No, please don't. Uh, this is kind of frustrating. Alrighty, I just started. Just wait until uh, hour... <laughs> hour... Five. Okay. Uh, if the distance, the vector... Vector 2 dot distance of the transform dot position... Um is uh, how do we do this we would say if the position the distance between the position and the new location comma distance to target um, wait what am I doing no 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 we don't want this we want to say if if this is less than the distance to target. Then we're going to say new location is equal to uh, random the inside unit sphere. Mm. I don't know what this will do. Uh, random dot dot range and we will say uh, hmm from the transform dot position dot x here actually let's do this let's just say int new x int new x is equal to the range of the transform minus, uh, let's say, uh, travel x, or we'll just say distance, comma, transform dot position dot travel, which we don't have yet, travel distance, wait, 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 plus the travel distance. So it's kind of like a radius. 
and we'll get that for x. Here, let's see if I can just Okay. And we want to say dot y. Or sorry, dot x. And why doesn't it like that? Can it convert a float? Okay, fine. Let's just say float. And then we will copy this with this lousy mouse. Oh my word, I cannot hold down the, the click. All right, this is not good. I need, I need to get find a new mouse ASAP. All right, so that's going to be Y. So here, I'll just do a quick comment. Get new um, direction. All right, and so we're going to say new location is equal to new vector to Okay, that time the that was good. All right, let's see if we can test this out. All right, let's go to here. Go back to Unity. And let's add our first creature. So we will probably be seeing a whole lot of just empty sprites. We're going to do a circle sprite. Uh, actually, no, we don't want to do that. We're going to do a new empty game object, and we're going to call this uh, creature. So I hope you guys are having fun watching this. Um, and then we want to do a new sprite. We'll just do a circle, and we're going to call it uh, sprite. Okay. And then here we're going to add the... We technically don't need the rigid body, darn it. Uh, you kind of have to have a rigid body. That's why I don't like. If you want to do collision detection. Uh, let's add a box collider 2D. I think. Let me add uh, my character controller here. Okay. So... Now, let's. That's all good. Let me save this. Uh, let me see my camera. We probably want to zoom out some. Um, let's just make it ten. All right. But before we do that, we have to say. Um, Let's just call this for now, just to test. Oh my word, what's going on? This is going to be a struggle. Okay, we have no errors, and we have no movement. All right, let me see here. Let me save this. Um, update move. All right, we didn't, we didn't, uh, I need this to be serialized because we never said. What we're going to do is have a timer for it to kind of go between moving and being idle. Probably it, I want it to move more than it is idle, but right, we still haven't set this. Let's just say, uh. One. Okay, still not moving. Let's do a hundred. All right, nothing is happening. Um, let me see. If this is transform position, come a new location. Um, is less than the distance to the target. Okay, less than or less than or equal to. All right, this needs to be Y, and this needs to be Y. Am I, oh, you know what? I have to say 
<laughs> transform dot position is equal to this. That is why it's not moving. I thought this would be the easiest thing to do in the whole game. Right, let's change the distance to a 0 0.2. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Still nothing. <laughs> All right, that equals a new. If this is less than or equal to, um, transform position is equal to lerp. Uh, new location. So we're taking the current location and we're lerping it to the new location. And this is going to set our transform position. <laughs> you know, I might be getting an error right here. And did I not see errors? I wasn't showing any errors. That's weird. It's still not doing anything. This doesn't matter because it's already doing it. Um, hmm. What am I doing wrong with this this lerp thing? Do I just say move towards? Linear entry. So I need to say like that normalize. That normalized lerp. Is it like lerp 2D? No. And we're in between vectors A to B by T. Okay. Here, let's just do a debugger. Actually, let's just let's uh, put this as a serialized field. And then I'll be able to see it. And I don't want to put it there. Oh, this mouse. All right, we're not. This is a. This is not going well already. Oh, good thing we got. Well, so we got. I'm doing a, a jam and not the comp compo. So we technically have three days to do it. However, I work Monday, so I don't think I will have three days to work on this. Um, this isn't even changing. All right. Let's just do this really quick. Let's add in three and three. Okay, let's do a hundred. Oh man, by the time I type it. Okay, this is not working at all. That's just sl sliding it right away. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have to say that, right? Do we have an error? Okay, we can't even do that. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, no. Uh, speed. Let me go back here. Transform dot move dot position dot move. move oh, come on. Dot move towards. Transform dot move towards. Transform dot position is equal to. Huh, I should have read up on this. Oh well. Oh, this mouse. It's like it keeps clicking twice. I still don't know why this doesn't even work. Okay, the distance, the vector two distance of the transform position and the new position is less than or equal to the distance to target. Then we do this random 
is this not working right here? Did I not set the travel distance? No, I didn't. That's why. Okay, so travel distance. Let's just say it's equal to 50. So that should be that should work now. Okay, let's stop, play it, see what happens. Okay. It's not lurping though. Hmm. We take the trans. If the distance is less than that, we take the position and we random between the x minus the distance. All right, let's just make this an integer. Um. Let me just turn this into an integer. Actually, we do like this. Int, make this an integer. What in the world? Come on. Let's do the same thing here. Ah! All right, uh, give me a sec. I might just pause the video really quick and see if I can fix my mouse. All right, I am back. Let's see. Yeah, this mouse is much better. Okay, Control C, Control V, and we'll change this to the Y. Okay, let's see if this did anything. Um, because we don't really need need the decimals. Let me go back here. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to make these make this uh, serialized field as well. And I am going to. I, I cannot believe that. I just cannot believe that. My wife came in here and took uh, my snack. I cannot believe that. <laughs> just, <laughs> what in the world is she thinking? <laughs> oh, well. well. I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> All right. And why does this keep giving me this error? The type of character controller already contains the definition of this. What? Did I actually like just okay? Let me delete this. I guess I just copied and pasted it. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long, long jam. I mean, I feel like this game is actually pretty simple. Uh, let's change this to five so it at least stays on the screen. Uh, I think the game. Okay, there he is. Wow, look at him go. I think the speed is too fast. Okay, we are times in by time. Okay, there. So that that is working. But oh man, it's like he's sliding though. Here, let's just test this out because I want this to be. I need this to be right. Um, I'm just going to create a quick animation. Which why don't I have my animation window here? Windows. Uh, animations, dock that to here. Let's create a new one. And we're going to call this uh, creature uh, hop. Because I want the creatures to stop. No. And that lurping thing, though, is not, I don't like it. Um, but we'll just see what it looks like with the hopping. Let's create a new, 
a new folder. Call this animations. All right, yeah, this is fun, 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 fun. Okay, so uh, let's go to record. And let's uh, go down to maybe 30 seconds and go up with them. And then go back down with them. Uh, actually, we can just copy this and put it here. Now let's play it, see what that looks like. Okay, let's stop it. And let's play. Oh my word, so fast. Why is it so fast? Um, I didn't think it would be. And let's do that normalized thing like we had before, normalized. Uh, let's just put speed times, uh, I'm just kind of surprised that it does it that fast. I guess because it's not using the rigid body system. Uh, let's change the speed to one. All right. All right. What is he? Why is he not moving? Um, speed to ten. Speed to one. Hmm. Okay, so that no. Let's get rid of the normalize. I guess that wasn't what I needed. Cause that kind of changed everything. Okay, let's see. No, no, it looks terrible. I mean, you can see it kind of... Ah, it's just like flying over there. 0 0.2. That does look a little bit better. There's certain points where, oh no, it is still doing it. What if, let's just test this out. Let's create a bunch of these creatures just to see if this is what I want it to look like. Hmm. No, oh, like we're still getting these kind of like weird movements and it's making me seasick how they're all like in sync. Um, this is definitely terrible. Oh my word. This is just kind of like, how can you change? How can you randomize that? Well, I think if we do like idle states and they stop. Um, but yeah, this, this is not, not good. It's not what I want. How can we do this? We might do it where it, it jumps, it picks a direction instead. Well, let's just, uh, copy all this for now or, uh, comment it. Let's try something different. Right, we're going to do, um, we're going to say, instead of new direction, let's change this to, I mean, new location, let's say direction. Okay. And then we're going to, we might do this still. All right. And we're going to say direction. Do we need to? Can, let's just. What if we just do this? Uh, um, let's just leave that for now. And then we're going to say. Random. Uh, int. Random. 
direction is equal to random dot range. Uh, we want to say from zero to, to four, right? Is that right? Uh, if and we can do a switch here, I guess. If random that, we're going to say case zero, break. If it's case zero, we're going to say direction is equal to, oh, you can say just do like that up. Okay. Copy this. Say one, two, three. So up, down, left, and right. Okay, so then we're going to lerp. We'll try the lerping again to the direction. All right, let's let's leave at that. Um, okay. Uh, if that is that, okay. Let's. Can I just say if this, if, and actually I don't want to say direction. Let's say if the. How do I know when it gets there? Mm. How do I know that this is done? I wish I knew if this was finished. Um, if position is equal to equal to the transform dot position minus the direction can't even do that uh, okay so convert this to a vector 2 vector 2 let's see uh, we can't what if this is equal to that, what seems to be a problem? Okay, we just, okay, fine. Vector two. I don't know if this will be correct or not. We still might do the distance thing. Okay, let's test this out. Actually, let's test it with one. Okay, that's not really working. Or is it? Yeah, I see the direction. It's going to go that way. I'm thinking it's never really equaling it. Um, so let's do what we had before. Just copy this. Let's just get it as close as it can. There's probably a way to do it. And let's change this to direction. Okay, come on. Mm. 
uh, up, down, left, to right. Let's just say on start. Do I have start? Uh, I need to move this up here. Okay, let's say um, direction is equal to vector 2 dot up. Let's just start with up. Direction. Uh, I have to say, actually, I have to say transform dot position plus this. And we need to convert this to a. Uh, wait. Yeah, we can't add those. So I have to say a vector. Vector 2. And is that right? The position. I don't think that's right. I think I need to do the the minus. Ah oh, man. I've done this stuff before too. So I don't know why I'm No, this isn't, this isn't right. See, it looks fine when you do like this. Let's that do two. All right, let me save this for now. All right, let's do, after the switch, we're going to say, um, we're going to just do right here a vector2 new location. And let's just say the, this new location, uh, new location is equal to the transform position plus the direction. And we are going to say, uh, do like that, make this a vector two. And so now we'll compare it to the new direction, our new location. All right, let's save that. It's moving. Uh, let's change the speed to one. Hmm. All right. Uh, what I need to do is. We need to set this at the beginning. Control C. When we first start. All right, let's make it. Let's make it a little bit. Let's make it one for the speed. All right, there it goes. Okay. I don't understand why it's lerping. Oh my gosh, this is just not good. Hmm. I don't get why, like right here, the Y is moving. And then it 
when it changed directions, it did um, let me make this let me make this three. Why are they both moving? How did that get off? I don't I don't get it. Oh, you know what? This right here. This should just be new location. Ugh. That's why. It should lurk to that new location. All right, it looks very janky. Change that to one. Um, let's go to back to this thing and let's start getting some uh, a switch. And we're going to use the character states. And then it automatically made those for us. Alright, so this will do the move. Okay, and then we'll take this away. Alright, so... When it's in idle, we want to um, randomly... The side to move. Okay. Randomly decide to move. So, how do we want to do that? Let's just say int random. We'll give it a 25% chance. Int random. Ran move is equal to range random dot range between zero and four um, actually we could we could do it like this let's do between a hundred and then we say if random move is less than um, 25 then we're going to say move Uh, and then here, instead of, okay, let's take all this, and let me cut that out, and we're going to say void pick direction. And, uh, yeah. So now what we'll do is when we do this, we're going to pick direction first. And then when we're doing this, we're going to say character states is equal to what's, yep, yep, idle. All right. So it has a 25% chance of moving. Let's test that out just to kind of see what that does. So he's moving. Um, hmm. Hold on. Let me save this. Let me go back here. Um, if it's idle, it seems to be moving a lot. I think we need to have a an idle timer. Uh, let's say idle, uh, let's do a float, let me make this serialized, serialized field, float, max idle time, and then we want a float idle time. Alright, so down here. 
we're going to say idle time is minus equal to time dot delta time. Yeah. If, all right, we can actually say plus. If idle time is uh, greater than or equal to the max idle time, then we're going to say idle time is equal to zero. And then we'll do this inside of it. Let's save it. Mm, let me go here and change this max idle time to um, one. So let's see what happens. All right, he's idle. Still idle. Hold on. Did I do plus or minus? I did plus. <laughs> um wait what what's moving what the heck all right let's go here pick direction so it goes here does that it says new location is equal to plus direction and then it goes here if this is less than the distance to the target We move, we change that to idle. Here, let's make this 75% uh, so he moves more than, than he idles. Um, something's not right. Okay, so we pick the direction, we start moving. Actually, here's what, we need to change the, that's why, character states is equal to character states move. All right, so that was the problem, I think. Hopefully. Well, okay. Okay, he's idle, he's moving. He's idle, he's moving. Okay, uh, let's do travel time to a two. Let's do this. Uh, let's go to our animations. And let's just create a new one called idle. Uh, we're going to call this... Uh, We say creature idle and let's record and we just want to kind of move it really quick but then undo it no 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 move it really quick but then put it back to zero all right so it's back to being centered and then let's go to the windows uh animator and let's change this to set as default okay now let's go here and uh, we're going to do a animator yep let's do it like that and we probably have to say animator 
that, but probably needs to be get component in children. All right. So when we are idle, we're going to say animator dot play creature idle. And then let's copy this. And when we're moving, actually, right here, let's do it. Play, and we're going to say move. All right. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, let's go to our creature. Let's change the speed, uh, the speed to a one travel distance are we even using that anymore no i don't think so let's just see what that looks like okay uh i have the oh i think it's hop and not move Oh, my word. Oof. It looks terrible. Let's see what it does. There's no, like, transition. Um. All right, this is going to be kind of tough. How do we do kind of a curve from one point to the next? How do we have it move like in a curve? Oh, I don't really want to do that. Let me go to the animations and in our hop record let's not do it so high let's just do it to zero point uh, two or one maybe okay let's see what that looks like and actually what we might want to do is in the animations maybe, maybe make it a little bit quicker like half the speed Mm. You see how it kind of snaps, though? I mean, that does look better. The hopping looks better. Right, let's do this. Uh, let's have make a transition to here. Um... And make one make transition to here but this needs to be do it uh, based on something uh, parameters let's see um, can we do just a float and say is move so then this will be a uh, is move it's equal to zero wait Hold on, let me delete this. Uh, parameter, not float, I want boolean. Is move. Should say hop, but whatever. Whoops. So if is move is true, is move is false. Uh, now what we want to do instead of saying play is hop we're going to say animator dot set bool is move and we're going to set to true 
Let's see if this does a better transition from one animation to the next. Let's hope so. And we'll say false. Wow, we've already been working for an hour already. This is going great. I'm going to uh, stop it here and continue the video in another clip.